What is happening Raiders? Let's warm you up. So we are starting from the knees again. If you need a pillow or to fold your mat, listen to your body, but we are going to get started. My friends with that right leg forward, hands framing either side, dial that right hip back, squeeze that left hip down, big stretch, heart pulls forward. So I'm pressing down through the front heel of my foot. That's super duper important. I'm feeling a stretch in my left hip flexor, heart shines forward, inhale, Exhale, rub, drive the right hip back, flexing through the right toe. Keeping my left hip stacked on top of my right knee rather than collapsing, feeling a stretch in my right hamstring. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, squeezing the glutes, walking it forward. Heart pulls through. Again, right hip dialing back, left hip squeezing down. So I'm feeling the stretch in the front of my left leg. Inhale, walk it back, flexing through my right foot. Right hip dials back as I get into that hamstring. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze and walk it forward. Last time on this side, big breath in. Exhale, walk it back. Nicely done. And go ahead and let's gently change sides. Left foot comes forward, squeezing down through my right glute. Again, driving my right heel down into the floor. Left hip pulls back, right hip squeezes forward. Inhale, heart shines forward. Exhale, start to walk it back. Left hip pulls back. Staying raised, right hip on top of right knee, but still dialing back through the right leg. Inhale. Exhale, walk it forward, driving that heel down as I squeeze my right glute forward, pull my heart forward, feeling that big stretch in the right hip flexor. Inhale. Exhale, walk it back. Beautiful team. One more inhale, walking it forward, squeezing through the glutes, and exhale, walk it back. Nicely done. Let's make our way to our forearm plank. So elbows are down, hands can either be straight out from the elbows or in that triangle shape. From here, I'm going to scoop my tailbone forward, elbows and toes pulling together energetically, shoulders down the back. Super engaged to the front line of my body, turning on through that abdomen. If you need to, you can drop the knees. Maybe pick back up, but we never want the hips high and we never want to feel it in the low back. That usually means the hips are dropping. So finding that sweet spot for me, elbows and toes pulling together energetically really helps to engage through that abdomen. Good. Keep tipping that tailbone forward. Gorgeous. Here's four, three, two, and gently lower down. Bring it to your back. Let's hit some glute bridges. Toes like they're on train tracks, reaching for the back of the heels. Inhale up. Exhale, roll down. Inhale up, tipping that tailbone forward, exhaling down. Again, we're squeezing through the butt, we're driving through the heels, and we're engaging through the core so that we're staying in the butt, in the hamstrings, in the core, but we're never in that low back. Use that low belly strength. Let's go for a little hold here. Breathing, chin drops away from the chest. Again, really think of scooping the tailbone up, turning on through that low abdomen. We never want to feel it in the low back. If you start to lower the hips and reset, that's a o t. Just meet yourself where you're at. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Bring the knees into the chest. A little rock and roll. Let's hit a happy baby. Hands into feet, feet in the hands. Rock side to side. Maybe extend one leg and then the other. Big breath in. Exhale, coming back, rocking it up into a standing position. So we're going to take Slow squats, feet on those train tracks. We sit back and down, we have four. Eyes up, chest up, big squeeze. Three, making sure that our chest isn't collapsing. We want our chest parallel with our shins. Big squeeze up. Here's two. Again, knees in line with my second and third toe, so I'm not feeling it in my kneecap. And one. Now we're gonna go squat to cross body jab. So we're gonna sit down, and then we're gonna go triple extension through our legs. So toe, knee, and hip. I'm going to throw my jab, come back through the center, feet on train track, squat, cross body, squat, cross body. So I'm driving this cross body jab with my glutes, squeezing like crazy. My core is tight, so I don't finish out here. I'm really activating through my butt. Then as I throw that punch, my shoulder stays at my back, so I'm not up in the ear. Let's go for two more. Inhale, exhale. And you know the deal. Feet straight forward, hand behind the head. Let's take our good mornings. Hips back, core engaged. Big inhale, exhale up. Making sure that the rib cage is drawing back towards the spine. Belly button is nice and tight. I'm feeling the stretch in my hamstrings and my booty. Slight bend in my knees so I'm not totally locking out. Always making sure that our heart is staying above the hips. 
The second we start to drop the heart, we start to put it in the low back and that's no good. So make sure you're staying in the butt and in the hamstrings. Inner thighs pull together energetically for two, and one, nicely done. Let's take those toes wide, about three to four feet. Toes forward, side lunges. So I'm gonna sit back and to the side, coming so that hip, knee, and ankle are in one line. Pressing back all the way to standing. Squeeze the butt at the top, sitting back and down. Pressing through big toe, little toe of that foot. Trying to really keep my feet nice and grounded. Noticing if you have a tendency, pretty common as we go for these to drop the chest, but just like our good mornings. Try to think of chest never dropping below hips. And in fact, this is more like a squat. So think chest up almost parallel with that side leg, sitting back and down. Whew. Let's go to, you got this team. One, and come up feet on those train tracks. Let's take some Frankensteins, hands out, little kick. Notice how I kick. My supporting leg is staying nice and straight. So that means we're going with our own range of motion. If today that means your legs are right here, and then you start to catch, you've got tight hamstrings, no problem. I'd much rather have you working here in your range of motion than coming up here and buckling through that leg. So big supporting leg, super strong. Here's three, two, and one. Let's end with a balance. So feet straight forward, grounding through our left foot, starting to lift up through the right thing, super tall through the left, arms sweep up to the sky, and down, snow angel. So really strong and long through that foot, pressing down big toe, little toe, heel, and then keeping that spine nice and long, gorgeous. And let's switch feet, so right foot goes straight forward. Let's go open and close. So good, for four, three, two, and shake it out, let's get poppin'. 